this. This looks like a lot of fun. Um, yeah, tell us the premise behind this whole idea. We were given the choice of some kind of prestige vehicle mm -hmm. that was a price roughly adjacent to a Dacia Sandero. So that's what, six, okay. six, so six, six grand. grand? Six, six grand. It's not a lot of money. And we had to prove that our cars demonstrated the kind of deportment and luxury that you would expect from a car of this type. They chose British cars, I chose a German car because ultimately the S-Class for me is the ultimate luxury car. Mm -hmm. That's um, fair enough, I'll go with that. They invented the space. Mm -hmm. They've demonstrated they can do it better than anyone else. Mm -hmm. Car Benz invented the first motor car. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about provenance and heritage, there is no more than Mercedes Benz. Yeah. Why does my car look like this? Well, halfway through the film, uh, we are told by the producers that we have to go and enter a motor race. Mm -hmm. This is something of a shock when you bought the car to so sit in the back off and be driven. Yes. And they're not the best basis for racing cars. Okay. But I'm a little bit obsessed by Mercedes history and AMG history, and they had a vehicle which in the 60s was a 300 SEL 6.3 they converted to go racing, which was probably the first Q car AM racer. Is it the first AMG? It was the first AMG racing car, and it was the most unlikely racing car ever. I mean, it had an automatic gearbox. Yes. Yeah. The decals, I think they're quite good, aren't they? It's not bad. I yeah. can tell. I the think difference. it looks great. And, and on the track was a honey. Listen to that V12 just sing. Yeah. Because what people forget is the basis of this car is that six litre V12. Yeah. And this engine was used as the basis for which supercar engine? Uh, yeah, the Zonda? Exactly. That is a, that's a base Zonda engine in there. Mm -hmm. So by the time we've taken some exhaust silencing off it and you lock it in second and third gear, yeah. it sounds amazing. How much power? It, had, when it, it left claimed the 400 when it left the factory. Yeah. It had 360 of when we dynoed it. So cool. Proper car. So cool. On that note, let's move to an unproper car. Yeah, well, I hear this was quite quick, actually. This one, quite quick, but very unreliable. This very is, unreliable. This is Matt uh, this LeBlanc's is this car. New block, <laughs> new crank, new pistons, new con rods, new valves, new cams, new water pump, new oil pump, basically new everything. New engine. Yeah, yeah, but she's running good as new. The vehicle is not on its original engine. The trade <laughs> would refer to this as non-matching numbers. Okay, um, um, some, some aero, we should talk aero. He has got some car. aero. I mean, I don't quite know what the aero's doing. He's got, he's got a, a spitter that's canted up into the air, sort of mm. with positive attack So if angle. anything, it's just giving lift to just the Just giving end. a bit more lift. There's, there's a, qu a questionable um, diffuser at the back end. There is. And it's been attacked by a shark over there. That was probably a curbstone or a TDR. And it sounded great. Yeah. So, th I mean, I think arguably the best looking of the three. Mm -hmm. It's a great looking car. Yeah. Quite an unlikely racing car. She did suffer a few spills along the way. Well, it's a proper English car. I'm proud of him. Moving on to, well, I don't really know what this is. Uh, I, Rory's car. I've got to admit that when I first saw it, I couldn't believe the way he desecrated this beautiful Rolls Royce. <laughs> Time to gentrify the hell out of Silverstone. Oh, yes! Oh, no! But actually, it kind of works. It? When you take the front bumper off, yeah. there's just something a bit rat roddy and cool yeah. about it. Well, don't tell him but I think it looks quite good. And the one mistake we all made that was the same mistake, we all made different mistakes, but yeah, the one mistake yeah, yeah. across all the three cars is we fitted spacers to the wheels, yeah. and they all caused problems. Mm -hmm. So the spacers on the front of these yeah. seized up and caused the hubs to get too hot, and, yeah. that, and that caused the brake fluid to cook. Picking up a bad vibration in right-handers. My wheel just fell off because the spacer failed. I've just had a minor technical difficulty. Yeah. And and his failed because they just looked terrible. And so it, that rear wheel's running positive toe as well, which yeah. meant, meant that his, actually how he drove it like that, I don't know. So you basically went for stance over reliability. We did, but the, but the, the really great thing about the challenge was that normally you expect to compete against each other. Yeah. But they put us into this great race called the Burkitt Six Hours, yeah. which is a kind of end of year celebration at Silverstone for the 72 Motor Club. And it's a great race. And you're a team, so you have to cooperate. <laughs> so you're there wanting Rory to do well. Which, which doesn't is a really strange emotion. Yeah, it doesn't come naturally, does it? And just one quick mention for the badge there. How jealous. No, no, he's got his own I, normally, I'd, on. normally I'd give him grief, but it's so cool. Yeah, it's so cool. The RR, the Rory Reed. Just know go. he's got one of those in his bedroom door. I don't want to know it? about what goes on in the Okay, so here's the question. Yeah. Now that you've lived with the true ownership of a six grand luxury limo, yeah. would you have that or a brand new Dacia Sandero? Unless you've got the resources to keep it on the road, 
you can't go for one of these because they're expensive. When thi- I know when things go wrong, I can't be telling people to do it. <laughs> Although, only one person here has made a buying decision based on these three cars and this yeah. experience. That's my American colleague. Oh, really? Who went straight out and bought a W140 600 SEL and has one in his garage. Oh. Not that I told you about. It's hot. And it's Man. gorgeous, low mileage. Really? You, oh, it's beautiful. I'm at the Bronx, went up an option in my bed. Well, there you go.